Hi there, uh, this is Murph, uh, and I will show you how to create a Linux uh, virtual machine uh, on the Windows Azure cloud environment and also connect from your uh, local machine uh, once the VM is uh, created. So, uh, to create a Windows Azure VM, first you have to go to www.windowsazure.com, uh, as you see here, uh, and once you um, you know, uh, go to that uh, URL. Uh, you can, if it's the first time for you, then you can, um, uh, you know, sign up for a free trial, which I did actually. Um, and once you do that, you basically uh, go to free trial and then sign it up. But I already have an account, so I'm going to click on portal here and it's going to log me in automatically since I already uh, had logged in uh, to the Windows Azure dashboard here. So as you see, it's a pretty uh, cool looking interface that Microsoft uh, has built. Uh, I actually like it. Uh, so to create a, a new uh, Linux virtual machine, um, you go to click on new here. And then you choose the virtual machine here. And then you click on from gallery. You can also do quick create, but I do like the, uh, the from gallery option, which will give me more options while I create the virtual machine. So I'm going to click on from gallery. And you have a lot of options here, so depending on your test or need, you can choose the one that you like. Um, there are platform images, uh, you know, uh, so I will choose Ubuntu 12.04 since that's the LTS. Uh, and then uh, once I choose it, click Next. And so release date, uh, yeah, so I will get the March 1, the latest one. Let's say my roof. Ubuntu two, and I'll choose a user account uh, that, that uh, you know suits my need, and I'll choose a password. I will uh, choose a small instance. So you can choose different instance sizes uh, based on uh, what you need. Um, if you if you're doing a lot of computing, uh, then you probably want to go for a uh, a larger instance. But for my test, a uh, small instance should be sufficient enough. Um, you also have the option to upload SSH key if you like. Uh, so for example, unlike uh, uh, I think uh, in Amazon um, EC2, by default they 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 uh, don't let you log into the instance uh, with the password and login, but uh, usually do it uh, through SSH key and that's been more secure because uh, you're you know, blocking access for users to access to the password. So in this case I'll keep it as it is uh, just for test. Now it has some details and click on next here. And then a DNS name. So uh, every instance in the uh, uh, virtual machine instance on the uh, Azure cloud platform uh, uh, gets a DNS name that uh, that you like to give. So uh, in my case, I will say Maruf Ubuntu 2. Oh, it's not, I probably used it before. Uh, it's 3. Okay, so yeah, that seems to be free. Storage account, uh, I usually use automatic for my testing, but you can, you know, go deeper and then in a more advanced setting. For test, that should be good enough. Uh, I'm going to choose the uh, West US. So, um, this test network is a network that I created before for my testing, but I will use the built-in uh, Azure network, which is the West US. So this is a deploy this VM in the West uh, West Coast, uh, which is where I've located, um, and that makes it more faster for me. Uh, so I'm gonna click next, and availability set. So you can see uh, an availability set is a group of virtual machines that are deployed across fault domains. So I don't need any fault tolerant. Uh, so I'm just going to keep it as none. But if you have a high high priority VM that needs to be you know highly available, then you can choose this option. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna click here. So okay. So now uh, it's creating the virtual machine. I can see the status here, and the active progress here. So if I click on the details. Uh, you know, I can uh, see what is it doing. 
Um, so I'm going to pause this video for a while. It's going to take a few minutes and then I'll come back again when I'm uh, when it's done. Okay. Okay, so uh my virtual machine has been created. Uh so it's successfully provisioned uh the virtual machine. Uh and looks like it's uh, it's running right now. Uh as you see here the status is running, so let we can click on this virtual machine here and you get some you know help link uh, uh help document link uh that you can do uh you can you can uh, manage uh these uh uh windows azure cloud environment with uh, powershell with you know powershell so that's pretty handy and there's also a linux command line tool that you can download uh and then call uh call the windows azure cloud to perform various operations so in this case, uh, I can click on the dashboard here, uh, so I can see what's happening with my virtual machine. Uh, it's one core, uh, and click on the monitor. So it just got created, so there's not much data here. And endpoint is the one that you're interested in. So when you create a virtual machine, uh, a Linux virtual machine, by default, um, Windows Azure Cloud uh, added, uh, added a uh, default uh, endpoint, which is uh, basically uh, for the port to uh, the SSH port, which is port 22. So, in order to connect to this virtual machine from my computer over the internet, I have to uh, use the uh, DNS name that I gave for my virtual machine, uh, which I'll show you again, uh, and then this port. Okay. Um, you can add more security settings. So, for example, if you configure a web server on your virtual machine. And you want port 80 and 443 to be uh, to be uh, permitted through this network, then you have to uh, click on Add an Endpoint here, and you can choose uh, you know Add an Endpoint and then click Next. And for example, you know you can uh, say you know, Web HTTP, you type the port. You can say in 80, type it for 80. You can add it if you want. Okay, it takes a few moments. So. Uh, let me see if I can uh, access the virtual machine now. So, 50994 is the port that I'll be using to connect to this virtual machine. Uh, so, I'm going to go back to the, uh, the virtual machine here. So, that is my DNS name, which is pretty nice actually. It's not uh, as long DNS name as Amazon gave you. Uh, it's going to be kind of user friendly. Uh, and open a new terminal window here okay so I'm going to do okay and uh, I forgot the port number so it is 50994 for SSH okay so do P the login screen now. Oh. Okay, so as you see here, I am connected to my virtual machine instance sitting in the Windows Azure Cloud. Uh, you can see here it's running uh running uh Ubuntu 12.04. Um so that's pretty much it. Uh, I will show you uh, creating a Windows VM on the uh, Windows Azure cloud as well on the, on the next video. Uh, thank you for watching.